Will you sign for this, please? Oh, right. Right. Right, then. So, uh, this is where you book a tango on my dance card, isn't it? <laughs> you what? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I'll see you later. Won't I? See you around, you mean, eh? <laughs> no, no, I mean, uh, later, later. After work, in the Rovers. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Bye, then. Bye. I'd like a word with you. A leech of a daughter. What right! Leave she? it! She's got no For right! For God's sake, woman, come on, drop it. Just drop it. Why well, put both the dormant off to that overpriced salon like some giddy schoolgirl in yesterday's clothes? How do you know Audrey was wearing yesterday's clothes? Cos I clocked that lilac v-neck on my way to the bus stop and remember thinking it did her no favours. <laughs> oh, I think I'll give me hip some exercise. I think it'll be your tongue that's getting the exercise. And just wait till she hears about you and Charlie. You want me to do the honours? No. She'll worry herself to death. Oh, cos Shelley had a wobble at the altar. Practically skipped off to that salon. Really? A dirty ticket. Should we uh, call police, do you think? Giggling like a silly schoolgirl. All right, gorgeous. Drop dead. At least you're not blanking me. Ten to nine on a Monday morning in yesterday's lilac V-neck. Oh, well. <laughs> 180, please, Blanche. <laughs> Suppose it's what you'd call a last gasp romance. Men will take anything if it's offered on a plate. Mm. Harris? Customer. Oh, how many? Five. <sighs> Something wrong? Nothing at all, love. We're glad of your custom. Anyway, he was in here on the stroke of six for his paper round. Probably couldn't wait to get out of that bed quick enough. <laughs> Audrey's an old dear friend of mine, actually. Perhaps you could talk some sense into her. If there's nothing else. Norris, Kettle. It could be you. Would think this was a remote island, the prices you charge. Please feel free to take a custom elsewhere. You're handy, if nothing else. You're too kind. He's ethical and all. I mean, not everyone's got a car to get to supermarkets, have they? And they buy up sports fields and playing fields and turn them into massive car parks so they can make more and more profit. The green belt, right? Get ready to wave it tatty by. Thank you. Fair dues, though. My mum says you're astronomical. Oh. And what does she say when she washes your pillowcases? What? She means your hair dye. Oh, I think they go a bit purple after a while. I think she bleaches them. Very ethical. And has your granddad mastered the art of the washing machine? Oh, does Audrey do it all for him now? Now that they're at it like rabbits, you mean? <laughs> Charming. I'll tell when you were asking. No need. Just passing the time of day. All right. <laughs> right. What can I get you? Come on, man. I think she's had a busy day of it. What? Well... Mother, why don't you go and find us somewhere to sit and I'll bring the drinks over? Uh, I'm not getting the vibe from any of this lot. Perfectly frank, 4.15. To Dobbin. Correction, it's Dobbin's dad. Blue eyes, Frank Sinatra would have been 90 today, right? Perfectly frank. Oh, unbelievable. Are you having a little flutter line? A couple of quid, yes. All right, then. Perfectly frank, it is. Now I've just got to find another five. Well, there's a large scotch and I'll give you a hand. Hi, my darling. You're right. One gin and slim line, Mum. Ah. Oh. Oh, thank you. Uh, right. How's Sarah? Sulking because I made her look after her daughter, but uh, never mind Sarah. What about you? Oh, my memory. Uh, that's not what you were wearing this morning, is it? Uh, when you left the Harris's place. I can't believe you just said that, Mother. It isn't, Blanche, no. Thought not. No, no flies on you, ma'am. This is old goss, this. She left his early doors wearing a purple jumper. Lilac. No, well, Sean told me. Well, you know what the gays are for tittle-tattle. They do not certainly smiling on you, son. Aye. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
She is. Well, congratulations, Mother. I'm a people watcher, an anthropologist. Yes, and sometimes you're just out and out nasty. Audrey, I'm so sorry. She can't help herself. Oh, dear, to forget it. Look, I have done nothing to be ashamed of. In fact, I'm the happiest I've been in years. Likewise. Oh, oh. oh. That's nice. Thank you. You were a long time at the corner shop. You only went for milk. Yeah, um, I bumped into Charlie and he uh, asked me if I wanted a coffee. It's no big deal, is it? Why are you having coffee with the local builder? Uh, Gran will be about five minutes. If it's the guttering, there's no need shelling out for a builder. Ken can fix it, if he can get himself up off his backside. Gran, just leave us alone, will you? Mm. Right. Uh, you'll have to take Amy. We're off into town. Well, why can't you take her with you? There's only five days of shopping left for Christmas. It's mayhem down there. Yes, and she'll love it. She'll love the lights and all that. We've got enough to do without getting a toddler under our feet. Do you see that? I leave the house for five flaming minutes. We send out a search party. <laughs> it's living with your folks for you. Yeah, but I don't intend to stay there forever. It wasn't a criticism, just stating a fact. Your life's not your own. Mm. I'm dreading Christmas. Well, Ali. Our Tracy starts courting Charlie Stubbs, and I'm the last to know, as per usual. We didn't really want to admit the awful truth to ourselves. Besides, we're hoping it's a flash in the pan. It'll be over before it gets started. I think they'll make quite a nice couple, actually. Mother! The man's a monster! They never go short of a bob or two, builders. We've been sick with worry. I'm sure that our Tracy can handle herself better than that fruit bat who's meant to run the Rovers. Shelley is a lovely girl. She's as weak as that tea. Put another bag in. What do you reckon? Yeah, very nice. Who's it for? You. <laughs> what are you showing it him now for? Well, if he doesn't like it, I won't bother wrapping it. I'll change it for one he does like. Won't that spoil the surprise? Better that than to be sat there all Christmas Day with a load of stuff you don't want, knowing you'll have to wait days before you can swap it. Don't show me mine. I don't care what you say. I want to wait until Christmas. I'm giving you money. <laughs> it's OK. I've just erased the last minute from my memory. Well, I wish I could erase the last five years from mine. And don't show Amy her presents. Christmas bringing them. I wouldn't bank on that. Why? What have you told her? Did you baste the bird? No, didn't need basting. How do you know? Did it say so? Just remind me, Mother, when did this Christmas tradition of you criticising my cooking start? I don't know about that, but it'll end the first Christmas you managed to put a bird on the table that's not dry as dust. I shall baste the bird, and after that, I shall baste you. And you try and help people. Hello. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, oh, Amy. Oh, hi. Come here. Oh, oh, thank you for coming. Well, she wonders why oh. the turkey's dry. Is the season of goodwill and all that? Even if some people don't approve of my boyfriend. Yeah, well, let's not drag up our differences today. Call it a Christmas truth. And now, don't you look pretty? Are those new shoes? Yeah. Charlie bought them. Oh, look at this dress and this cardigan. Oh, Charlie bought them and all. He's, uh, he's very generous. And with his fists, by all account. Oh. One more crack like that and I'm going to leave. No, no, don't go. So, uh, what did he get for you? Happiness. That's what he got me. Pure happiness. Uh, Deirdre. What? Base the bird. Come on. Happy Hello. Christmas. Happy Christmas. Uh, Hello, Happy you. Christmas. Happy Christmas. Hello. Happy Christmas. Got your present. Oh, that's a lovely dress. Charlie got it. And her shoes and the butterfly in her hair and all her toys apparently made a big fuss. Oh, did he? Well, now it's Daddy's turn to make a big fuss, isn't it? Yeah. Can I get you a drink? Got any strychnine? Uh, we've got sherry. Fine. Here. You know, I think I might go to the pub. Oh, you've only just got here. Stay for a bit. Liz will be here in a minute. What, and that's supposed to be something to look forward to? Well, I thought you liked Liz. Well, I used to. 
she done for me lately? <sighs> it's all about you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And some people actually want to be with me. Nobody wants me here. That is not true. Yes, it is true. Look at her. She's a star attraction. Well, you begrudge her a bit of the limelight on Christmas Day. No, I just don't want to have to stand here and watch Steve and his latest play Happy Families with my daughter. How long are we going to stay here? We've only just got here. Yeah, well, I'm stuck with the old man. And I'm playing with my daughter. It's the only chance I get. Is this your way of punishing me? Me punishing you? It feels more like you punishing me. I was trying to do something nice. You knew we were coming here. It was all arranged. Look, I don't get to see Amy very often, and you're trying to ruin it. Got any more of that sherry? Oh, yes. Got to make it a large one. Your Christmas present? Thought you were going to the pub. No, actually, I might stay a bit longer. A cooker. Microwave. Fridge. Um, freezer. Uh, hang on a minute. Is that allowed? Because Steve's fridge has already got a freezer compartment. Oh. Oh, what does it say on the card? Things you could find in a kitchen. Hey, I can find a freezer in the kitchen. Well, we haven't got a freezer in our kitchen. Has anybody here got a freezer in their kitchen? All right, sink. I were going to say sink. Dishwasher. Oh, I were going to say dishwasher. Well, can you have loads of those, or is she out? I don't care. I'm out if you like. Oh. There you go. I'm dead. Happy now? It's only a game. Well, you can serve the drinks, seeing as you're out. Look, we'll go soon, I promise. I think it's in poor taste playing games with a bomb. Well, it's supposed to help Amy with her word recognition. How do you know? Says so on the box. Oh, trust him to be the only person who's read the rules. OK, OK. The next category is things that you might find on the beach. Go on, set it going. What is it? So things that you might find on a beach. I'm not deaf. Give us a minute. Well, hurry up. Are you going to blow up? Things that you might find on the beach, Amy? Dog muck. <laughs> oh, is that all you could think of? It's true. Condom. Oi, 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 this is supposed to be for Amy. Sorry, I, I meant to deck chair. Your mind goes the whole blank when it's your go, doesn't it? I can only think of dog muck and condoms no, now. And deck chairs. Yeah, deck chairs. No, what, what's, what's under a deck chair? What do you mean? Well, what's a beach made of? Gets in your sarnies and in between... Ah, sand! sand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God! <laughs> I got it in. You're dead. No, I don't think so. You were holding the bomb when it went off your toast. No, I said sand. It's too late. Anyway, he was helping you. That's not allowed. Uh, Ken! What? You've read the box, clever clogs. Tell us who's out. Have you got something in your dentures, Mother? I'm doing it. How many syllables? I'm doing the whole thing. Charming. Is it something to do with eating? Is it a musical? No, oh, it's a film. Mm. Uh, is it um, flesh-eating cannibals and the wild women of the moon? <laughs> <laughs> is that a film? <laughs> Jaws too. Hallelujah. <laughs> I met a stranger at the door in desperate need of a mince pie. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Well, come in. It's about time you met the family. No. I am not having that man in my house. I'm sorry. I thought this was supposed to be the season of goodwill to all men. Especially your daughter's new boyfriend. Tracy. Well, you said he could come. Uh, he is Amy's father. Oh, yeah, and who's she? And I don't know what she's doing here, and I've no idea who he is. Uh, Vernon Tomlin. Vocals, percussions. Rock rhythm rascals. Well, pleased to meet you. This is Charlie. 